It's August 9th, 2020. Uh, it's been getting a little warmer again here in Seattle. Let's start the update over here. Lavender, you can see all the flowers are gone now. But it's also sending out some new flowers, but they're only just a tiny bit. And the rosemary looks pretty much the same. I think it's still just sending out some new growth. Like this one over here. Let's look at the uh, succulents. These ones are all looking very healthy. And the newly transplanted ones are also looking great. This one is good. And this little one over here, if you look closely, you can see some new growth from the center, which are more a bit more green. So yeah, it's doing really well. Here's the string of pearls. Um, you can see the vines are, oops. I guess some of them have uh, detached from the pot right there. Um, I have some plans for these, so yeah, I'll keep it somewhere else. But yeah, the string of pearls um, looks pretty nice. I think you can see some new growth, some smaller leaves. Those are the new growth. And then over here we have the elephant food plant. You can see a lot of new leaves forming. The whole plant is getting a lot fuller. Right here is an interesting new growth. If you look closely, you can see some new leaves forming at the tip of the broken stem. And over here is the petal plant that I moved outdoor a few weeks ago. You can see a lot more new leaves forming from the center but the plant looks pretty much the same. Here we have the hydrangea. You can see the flowers are forming nicely. Um, and then from this main stem, the auxiliary growths are also getting bigger now. And this other new growth is also growing nicely. Here's the green onion. Um, Here's some interesting, weird um, new plants forming from the flowers. And from the base, you can see some leaves growing. Here's an another new growth. And the new flowers are still around. And as you can see, the raspberry is still sending out a lot of new flowers. Let's take a look at the older flowers that has faded. Maybe some raspberries are forming, but if you see right here, you can see some of the flowers dried up. So I don't think they're forming quite well. Probably not going to get a lot of raspberry from the one-year-old canes. Over here we have the mint plants. You can see they're growing pretty wild. And also, like I mentioned last week, if you look closely at the center, those are probably some flowers forming. Um, yeah, you can see the mint plant is growing very wildly. And down here, let's take a look at the artichoke. I think the plant is getting taller, actually. So I think it's doing well. Mulberry, nothing much to talk about. The lily of the valley, you can see it's definitely dying back now. Blueberry. Um, yeah, pretty much the same, just a lot of blueberries forming, like right here. But then at the same time, it's also dropping a lot of blueberries on the floor, like these ones. You can see they're a, a bit more pink instead of blue. Here's the dahlia. You can see um, more flowers forming. Here's a new flower that's gonna op that is opening, actually. And here we have um, a few more flowers that are going to open soon. I'm going to harvest these. Over here is the strawberry. I should definitely water the plants. Here's the kale lily. You can see this flower is still around. But yeah, pretty much it's all leaves. And here's the frizzle sizzle. You can see the flowers have opened. I'll give you um, some closer look um, of the flowers. I um, did a flower dissection maybe last year. I'll link the video here. 
but yeah the flowers looks pretty interesting it's a bit yellow um, and I think there's uh, six petals total and here's some more flowers from the second plant that's gonna open soon as well down here's the mixed pot of plants you can see I I uprooted some tomato plants because I want this uh, crimson clover to grow here's the ginger you can see that first new growth is getting a lot taller and it's still sending out some new leaves and the second new growth um, is also catching up not seeing any new growth hydrangea looks pretty much the same asparagus um, dying back already here's the catnip I trimmed the plants to clean it up here's some Mexican stone crop a lot of new growth grape looks pretty much the same um, I think it's mostly also sending out new leaves down here is the rhubarb you can see a lot of leaves um, and here you can see this new leaf has opened up very nice look at how big the leaves are here's the another catnip and the pineapple is doing really well I'll give you a closer look at the um, new growths you can see it's sending out a lot of new leaves some water in, in the plant too it's looking great As for the indoor garden, here we have another succulent. Looks like it's doing well too. And over here we have some snake plants. Let's welcome back this little guy. Um, as you can see, it has not been taken good care of, so hopefully I can nurture it back to health. The orchids are doing well. You can see the new groves are definitely getting bigger. Um, this other than Tropium is also doing that. Lady Slipper Orchid um, looks pretty much the same. The Mini Oncidiums are actively sending out a lot of um, flower spikes. You can see these ones, the flowers are forming already. Um, I'll show you the other flower spikes from the plants. Here is another flower spike forming. Um, and right here is also another flower spike for me. I'll probably miss some of them, but just gonna show you the ones I found. So this is the flower spike, that first flower spike that formed. Um, and here you can see another flower spike forming. Not seeing any more. Here's a few more orchids. Let's look at the Philanopsis. You can see that new leaf is still forming. Over here is the snake plant. And here we have the ficus. A lot of new leaves forming. Some more succulents. This guy is doing well. You can see the a little bit of uh, orange coloration. Here's the dragon tree plant and the bird nest fern. The reflection is made, making it a little hard to see, but here. Then the hanging plants. This is the philodendron. Here's the pearl plants. Um, not seeing any flowers, just new groves. The hoya plants. Um, the new groves um, aren't really growing too much anymore. Here we have the Starkhorn Fern. The show fern looks great. I like the brown coloration to it and the new antler front forming. And lastly, the spider plants.